Join us for a day of living out of our truck camper. If you're new here, thanks for watching. I'm Josh and that's Kate and Coco. This is our Scout Olympic truck camper. This weekend for New Year's, we're up in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. And last night we found a good free camp spot right outside of uh, Forest Route 17. That's closed for winter now. There's not enough snow, but in the winter it turns into a snowmobile trail. There's a nice white mountain sign over here. We didn't know we were gonna get snow last night and there's not a lot, there's like an inch and a half, but it's still very pretty. We're excited it's not raining. And this is our spot and we're about to leave and start our activities today. Today we're planning on going out to eat at like the most famous diner in the White Mountains. That's Polly's Pancake Parlor. It's a famous breakfast spot. We plan on going indoor rock climbing at the North Country Climbing Center in Lisbon. We want to check out this uh, cheese store. It's called Harmon's Country Store. Then we also want to go on a little hike and find another free camp spot closer to Lincoln. We have these folding scissor steps for Coco so she can get into the side of the truck and into the back on the tailgate. We have been keeping them in the back of the truck or in the Scout, but since they're so dirty today, we're gonna see if we can fit them on this side. Oh, awesome, barely fits, but we might not have enough room to plug the seven pin connector back in. I just had to shove all this cord in there. I've been looking for a shorter seven pin cord uh, because I did install this little seven pin connector in the back of our truck bed. So we no longer have to have this seven pin wire going down over the tailgate. But now the original wire is way too long, um, but I haven't been able to find a short one. We've still got a decent amount of diesel left. Uh, I think we've gotten two days out of that. DC to DC charging is on and propane is off. Maybe I should have brought my bigger boots. I guess I have my bigger hiking boots with us. I really have liked this Tundra, um, but I still feel like I like the 4Runner better. We got tires a couple weeks ago, so I'm glad we got those before the snow but I still haven't gotten used to the controls down here. It has dual zone climate, so it's not as simple as the 4Runner with the big three knobs. I'm just not used to how there's not a knob for the different fan speed. We're probably only like 10 or 15 minutes away from North Conway, which is a nice big town that we were in yesterday. There's a lot of nice little houses on this road. I feel like I would buy a house here. Josh mentioned the DC to DC charging earlier because we have a custom battery set up in our camper. We have a Sun Fun Kit 300 amp hour battery. And right now we're stopped and we're pulling 21.6 amps into our battery just from having the car running. I think up there might be the van that parked next to us last night. Okay, Coco, wow, good job. We got the corner spot at the uh, middle of the town park right next to the public restrooms, but they say they're closed. The Conway Scenic Railroad is right over there. And I think we're just going to walk down Main Street up this way. I really like this color Tundra. I feel like if I could pick a color to get, it would be this. And I really like the TRD Pro grill that they have on here. At some point for our truck, I want to get this grill along with the black bumper end caps and black uh, mirrors. Coco, you ready to do some shopping? I think you can go into this store. Thank you. Coco, are you excited to be shopping? I feel like she is. I'm yeah, she is. She loves out. going into stores. Are you excited? <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to treat me? Can you sit? Can you sit, Coco? Good girl. Oh, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a lot of nice designs in here. Kay actually got me one of these belts for Christmas. That was a nice store. Yeah, it was really nice. The weather really isn't stopping people from walking around. There's still a good amount of people here. Another dog friendly store. This is my favorite sock brand. It's like, it doesn't seem like a little baby. She we just did a little loop near the fire department and now it's back to the car and heading to Polly's Pancake Parlor. This is Adatash Mountain right here, and you can see they have snow on one of the slopes. But a lot of it has no snow. I guess there's more here over here, but you still you can see there's not a lot. I think that's one of the mountains I can go to on my epic pass. And here we are. It doesn't look as busy as last time we were here. Thank you. Two of you? You can follow Jim. Cool, thank you. <laughs> I think we're both gonna get the Kathy's combo 
And the special today isn't a batter, but it is butterscotch chips. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna get for pancakes yet. Probably something like this. Oh look, that's funny. We can see the truck camper from here. That's cool that they have an FAQ sheet. Apparently it's still run by the same family. A cornmeal pancake with blueberries. A cornmeal pancake with butterscotch chips. How's your spiced apple cider? It's really good. The food just came and it looks really good. I'm sure it'll be great. I'm glad we skipped breakfast today to get them out of food, but now we're really hungry. I decided to save the best for last and I'm interested to see how the gingerbread is gonna taste. So what'd you think? Really good, as always. I feel like the pancakes here are always my favorite. Yeah, I definitely really like the butterscotch chips. Yeah, they were good. Well, that was awesome. I'm glad we went. I feel like it's a tradition coming here. Oh, hey, Coco, are you driving us? Want to see the sticker I got? Now that we just ate, Coco's deciding to finally eat. The next stop, it's only like two minutes away, is the Harmon's Cheese and Country Store. Here we go. They look busy. It's a good photo. That sign used to be right up here, but I don't know why it's down now. This seems like something Kate would like. See what we got, Coco? We got some mustard and some smoked cheddar, and apparently you want some. I took two of those little sample bags for Kate and Coco. How'd you like it? She wants the real block. Coco is obsessed with this block of cheese for some reason. <laughs> that was neat to check out. I think now we're heading to the climbing center, but first we might go on a walk or a little hike. I guess you can also try CrossFit while we're here too. <laughs> Coco's enjoying her little laps around the parking lot. We did walk her a little bit more than we filmed at the cheese store too. Coco, you ready to come on in? I think it's 25 or $27 a person if you need to rent a harness along with shoes, but we brought ours with us, so it should only be $18 a person. We already filled out our waivers online and I even think I saw showers that we can use uh, when we're done. Kate's tired after doing that last climb. She did this 5.9 one called Blue Shell right here. She did make it all the way to the top. We both had a fun time. I'm glad we went. We were probably in here for like three hours. And I think we can actually shower here too because on the way in, I saw in the locker rooms they had showers, so I think we're gonna do that now. We've just gotta go get our shower stuff ready, but we think we're actually gonna move the truck up here instead of down here, but we'll walk Coco first. Okay, Coco, I'm ready for you. Come on down. Good girl. Apparently they also have indoor pools and a 24 hour section as well. Nothing too special, but they'll do. How was your shower? It was good. It was good. I had it all to myself. We're just leaving the rock climbing gym now. We decided to head about 40 minutes south to Lincoln, and we're going to stay at Hancock Campground tonight. That's a national forest campground. It's open year round. There's a lot of national forest campgrounds up here, but a lot of them are seasonal. I think there's only two in the White Mountains that are open year round. Kate's gonna get out and grab one of the pay envelopes and then we'll find a spot. A couple of these sites are free. That looks like a van. We saw a truck camper back there. I see a car, but no tent. This one's empty. Those people are having a fire. There's a couple of ice fishing tents, it looks like at that one. That one's a pretty big camper right there. It looks nice. It's pretty full, but I didn't count how many cars we saw. We're just getting Coco out. It's 32 degrees and there's a little bit of snow on the ground, but there's still really not a lot of snow. We actually came here for New Year's last year and I think we stayed three sites down that way. I think we might've been site 40. Apparently there's a trail down to the river right across from our campsite. We'll have to check that out tomorrow. That looks like a cool tent. Okay, Coco, we're going in the camper. Come on. Good girl. 
it's definitely colder out here. I wonder what the thermometer inside the camper is going to say. Tonight for dinner, we're going to be having chicken and our leftover grain and butternut squash mix from yesterday. And I'm going to be cutting up all this stuff and making us a nice appetizer plate. I really like this knife you got us. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty sharp. It's good. Yeah. I feel like we didn't have like a chef's knife in here. I'm almost done with our appetizer plate. I've just got these other things left to do. We just started the chicken, and I think it's time to crack the window and turn on the max air fan before we set the smoke alarm off. The chicken is almost done, and this is warmed up. And our appetizer plate is done. We're also having some roasted garlic hummus along with this mango chutney. Cheers. This mango dip is really good and it's uh, kind of cold near the window. It says it's 34 degrees outside, but that's in our little propane compartment. If we had the Forerunner in the roof tent, we'd be outside and you'd have all your layers on right now. I know you haven't worn many of your thermal layers that you brought yet. Yeah, I agree. I feel like when we went winter camping before we got the Scout, I would be wearing my Snuggie all the time, my down winter coat, and it's really nice. Like I have my sleeves rolled up. These pants are not that warm. Yeah, the truck camper makes a big difference before. The only time we're in like a heated space is when we're either driving or up in the roof tent if we brought the diesel heater. But we're always in a heated space with this. Yeah, and it's even better because it's been raining so much too, so we're also dry. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain this year, so that was never fun with the roof tent. This looks good. Yeah, it is. Looks like Coco wants some too. We're just cleaning up from dinner now. We are kind of washing them with this little soap dispenser thing that we have somewhere. Um, I'm just cleaning them out roughly first. I feel like it was really cool that we were able to shower at the rock climbing gym today. We weren't expecting that. And uh, we had it all to ourselves. We were both showering all alone, which was nice. Two weeks ago when we went to Canada, I think we paid, what was it, $8 per shower? Yeah. So it was definitely nice. I would definitely stop by there again. The rock climbing was pretty good. It wasn't too big, but it wasn't small. This little mini garbage can has been a great purchase. It has a little thing that you can move places. It's a little removable clip. So when we're in here doing stuff, we always hang it up on the window. But when we're driving, we keep it down there on that little mount. We built this cushion recently so we could have our feet extended when we're sitting at the bench. But I think if I really needed to sleep here, I could because I can fit in the space here and I could sleep like this. Yeah, I think you could. It'd be better than not having it there. Yeah. If this was like a little wider, I think it'd be comfy to stay here on this thing. Yep. The reason why we didn't make it any wider is because we wanted to still be able to sit like a one person dinette in this space and not have to remove this every time. We turned the Dickinson heater on just for fun, something to look at. It's nice with all the lights out. I think it's funny how we all used to be in the roof tent. Coco was getting antsy and she wanted to come outside. We just walked down the road a little bit more and we're really not too far away from the bathrooms. If you listen, you'll be able to hear the sound of the river. I feel like whenever we've been here in the winter before, I haven't been able to hear the river at all. That just shows you how fast and how uh, high the water must be. And we're back, Coco. We've been hanging out in here, it's about 10.30. We're gonna head off to bed because we want to hike tomorrow morning. That's it for tonight and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I'd say we all slept pretty good last night and we did get a little dusting of snow. And I think I just realized that the Jeep and um, Scamp camper across the street were here last year when we were here. Um, I think I remember seeing it at night when we were walking around last time. The people across the street have a couple cool cars and a few roof tents and a fire already going. I did really enjoy sleeping in here last night. It was nice and warm inside while it was kind of windy outside. You can see Coco's paw prints in the snow on the stairs. Let me see if I can give you a little view of their setup over here without being too weird. They have a nice Tacoma with a roof tent. I can't tell if that's a Vermont or a New Hampshire plate. We've still got a decent amount of diesel left today, but I'll probably uh, get more diesel when we drive through Lincoln because we are going to leave the heater on for Coco today while we go on a hike. So it'll probably be pretty close to low after that. What did you get? You making sticks for a fire? Just 
Should we walk down to the river to see what's there? Sure. This is really cool. This is the smallest one, and I like how they have a max air fan and air conditioning. Coco, does this count as a little mini hike for you? Wow, it's moving pretty good. It's kind of deep in some spots. It looks like I see an old path or an old road on the other side. And you could definitely swim here in the summer. We're gonna walk Coco around the campground and then get our stuff ready and go hike Cannon Mountain. I think that's it for today and we'll see you next time.